Hey, welcome back. Today is April 14th, Wednesday, and on this post, I'll be telling you about the overall crypto markets very quickly, which includes Bitcoin dominance and Bitcoin price action and see how they could potentially affect the overall altcoin markets before diving into Origin Protocol, Token, OGN, USD, and see what is going on in here. I'll be telling you about the bullish and bearish case scenarios for today, as well as the short-term price prediction on this market, according to what I'm seeing on the charts. Before I begin today, if you guys are enjoying this content, make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video, as I'll be keeping you updated on the latest crypto setups on my watch list, regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. If you want to support me and don't already have a WeBro Bookage account, you guys can use my referral link down below. They're still giving away two free stocks as of today upon a successful sign up and a qualifying deposit of 100 US dollars. And I will also receive a referral bonus if you guys sign up under me. Please also read my full disclaimer below. I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I am purely sharing my own speculation and opinions on this market. I cannot trade the future and you should always do your own due diligence before trading or investing in this market as it's extremely risky and volatile. If you have any questions or comments, please do only leave them in the comment section below, but I'll try my best to get to as many of them as possible. See what's going on in this market right now. We do have Bitcoin dominance. The first thing I look at because it tells me what the money could be trending into it would be Bitcoin altcoins or neither. Right now, we do have Bitcoin dominance down further from my earlier post today. Right now, it's down about 1%. This breaks down to Bitcoin price action down over 2%. Total altcoin market cap down very slightly now, about just 0.1%. Now, this would still be the downside of Bitcoin dominance trending downwards because altcoins are still down, okay? I still usually emphasize Bitcoin dominance trend downwards. That's generally speaking better for the altcoins on both the upside and downside. Because conversely speaking, if Bitcoin dominance was trending upwards, the downside of that, I will usually see Bitcoin pullbacks affecting total altcoin market cap more okay unlike right now where we are seeing bitcoin dominance trending downwards and bitcoin pullbacks are affecting total altcoin market cap less okay now bitcoin dominance here on the weekly time frame we are still in the following watch pattern which is generally a bullish pattern if bitcoin dominance breaks to the upside of this pattern that's not as ideal for the altcoins Let's go over to Bitcoin here. Bitcoin, as we have, um, as I've been saying on this weekly time frame, this is the weekly time frame. We have been having bearish divergence that have signaled a few pullbacks here. Okay, so first higher high, lower high on the RSI. That's the first bearish divergence signal. Had a very uh, sharp bearish candle here. Okay. Before continuing further and making a higher high again, again with the lower high on the RSI, that's again bearish divergence, two weeks worth of pullbacks. The safer signal here I am looking for to tell me that the bearish divergence on this time frame is done playing out will be seeing a higher high on the price action chart along with a higher high on the RSI. So the last high RSI reading here I'm looking to beat is about 75 from this little top right here. Monthly time frame, we have been having bearish divergence for quite some time and we are in overbought territory, however, still has yet to yield a red candle. So in my opinion, has not even played out on the monthly time frame here. Not something I lose track of because do take a look into the last few times, Bitcoin did get into very overbought territory. And this is on the monthly time frame. Let's go over to OGN. I'm going to skip the daily chart for Bitcoin. I'm going to run over this more quickly. OGN, Origin Protocol here. Let's take a look on the monthly time frame down to the daily and see if we have any overbought RSI readings or possible bearish divergence scenarios. I do also want to add to my earlier Bitcoin dominance updates. Okay, if Bitcoin pulls back at any time, it could still have a bearish effect on the altcoins, just like we have seen earlier today. That bearish effect would be greater if Bitcoin dominance is trending higher. Monthly time frame here for OGN USD. We are currently about 86 on the monthly time frame. So in overbought territory, that's 86 out of 100. 
weekly time frame, we're at over 84, so still in overbought territory. I cannot say anything about possible bearish divergence scenario on here just yet because this weekly candle has not closed, so I won't potentially have two tops to compare it to. Three day time frame. If the price action, excuse me, let me backtrack. RSI reading on the three day, three day time frame here, over 78, so not in overbought territory on this shorter of the macro time frames here. However, if the price action was to make a higher high on this time frame, it does need to beat the last high RSI reading of about 84 on here. Okay. Right now, I do see bearish divergence playing out on this three-day time frame. We did have a higher high on the price action chart. However, a lower high on the RSI, that is still a signal for pullback more often than not, as I have pointed out on the weekly time frame as well for Bitcoin. Okay. Now, a safer signal here to tell me that this bearish divergence is done playing out would be seeing a higher high on the price action chart, along with a higher high on the RSI as well. Okay. Otherwise more pullback or consolidation could still be expected. Daily time frame. I would not call this specifically uh, bearish divergence because we did make a higher high with a higher high on the RSI here. Okay. Price action though did come down to the daily 21 MA or very close. And currently on the daily time frame, we are not in overbought territory. We're currently about just right below uh, 59 here. So not in overbought territory on this, on this daily time frame. However, if the price action wants to make a higher high here, it does need to beat the last RSI reading here of just right under 80 to negate bearish divergence. Let's take a look into what I could be dealing with here on this daily time frame. I do see a falling watch pattern that is in play right now. I do have two sets of swings up and two sets of swings down. Falling watch patterns are generally bullish patterns. According to Thomas Bukowski and his website, thepatternsite.com, it is a 68% chance of it breaking to the upside. If it breaks to the upside, the measure target here if it breaks to the upside by Considering the support holds, which I'll get to in just one second, okay, considering the support holds, which is very close, which is pretty in line with the daily 21 MA, which I do uh, consider it to be key support. So if the price action breaks out of this pattern, considering this support holds right here, then I do have a measure target of about $3.05 measure targets. Now measure targets are theoretical approximate targets only may actually be different in real life price action, more or less. And of course, if the price action breaks out sooner, the measure target would be higher. If it breaks out later, the measure target would be lower, assuming that this falling watch pattern shape still stays intact. Let's go over to the key supports and resistances relevant to this price action right now. Key resistance right now would be about the $2.35 FIB level area. About the $2.55 FIB level area. $2.80 FIB level area. $3.05 FIB level area, and beyond that, I can refer to this group of wicks right here from uh, for past trading resistance, okay. Key support immediately would be about the $2.05 FIB level area, which is pretty in line with the daily 21 MA right now. If that does not hold, next up, I could be looking at about the $1.65 FIB level area here. Let's take a look into the bullish and bearish case scenarios here. Bullish case scenario, price action breaks out of this pattern and go towards this measure target, mining some of those resistance levels I have just pointed out as those could be points of rejection. Bearish case scenario, price action breaks this bottom trend line here. Okay, that would take into consideration of breaking this daily 21 MA and the $2.05 FIB level area, okay? Depending on the timing, it actually breaks this bottom trend line, of course, as well. So let's see if I can actually extend out this falling watch pattern some more and still keep the falling watch pattern shape. It looks like it could 
uh, beyond beyond the daily 21 MA, okay? So depending on when it actually breaks this bottom trend line, okay? Um, if it actually breaks the bottom trend line later, then I would still have, actually if I if it breaks the bottom trend line anyways, then I could be looking at the dollar and 65 cents fit level area, okay? So bearish case scenario, let me repeat, if the price action breaks this bottom trend line, okay? Then the next level of key support I'll be looking at will be about the dollar and 65 cents fit level area and seeing if that holds. Now these are my bullish and bearish case scenarios for today. Let me know if you found it helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know your agreements, disagreements, feedback. I love to hear them. Hope you manage your risk carefully. And if you would like to see any more of my most recently uploaded videos on YouTube, you guys can check out my links up here on YouTube. See you next time.